Guys, this is it. I want to introduce you to a brand new truck. Yes, it looks like an SUV, but trust me, underneath, it's got a ladder frame. It's a truck. And what this is, it's an Ineos Grenadier, and this is a US spec version. We've been waiting for this for a very long time. And in this video, I can show you around it, underneath it, and I can also uh, interview Rick from Ineos Grenadier to learn everything possible around it. So let's walk around. Let me show you kind of the bones of it. So if you look underneath here on the ramp, uh, you can see the really beefy chassis that it has. Basically frame rails that run all the way uh, from the front to the back. It's got solid axles. Check this out. So solid axles front and rear. Look at the size of these components. Huge, huge steering components, huge anti-sway bars, multi-link system. Here inside you have iBox springs, Bilstein shocks, but no airbags, no hydraulic suspension, nothing, nothing really complicated, just really kind of back to the traditional off-road chops. This vehicle will compete against many others. Uh, for example, a fully optioned Jeep Wrangler, a fully optioned Ford Bronco, uh, Land Rover Defender, and maybe even a Mercedes G-Wagon, although the G-Wagon's price is way higher. And at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you how much it costs and also when you can get it. So let's keep walking around this. So this one is shown here with optional alloy wheels. Uh, you can also get steelies, which I love. And uh, for example, the Bridgestone Dueler tire, you can see here, it's a good all around tire uh, for street use, also some off-road use, but you can also get a BF Goodrich KO2, uh, a little bit more beefy and more robust. I wanna show you this. Rock sliders, skid plates. Let's see, uh, yeah, you can see the fuel tank skid plate right there and the rear suspension as well. This has about 10.4 inches of ground clearance. You can option it with a winch, you can option it with a snorkel. So let me actually introduce you to Rick from Ineos Grenadier, uh, where he can tell me a little bit more about some of the options and different trim levels. Uh, so let's go to Rick now. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you, man. So, can we walk around these two? Absolutely. And kind of show the differences between them because you're going to have three different specifications, right? Yes, you have the what we call the base model where you can build it, customize it exactly how you want, or you have the two um, premier editions, the Field Master and the Trial Master. Sweet. So, the Field Master, in my mind, is the one here, which you hear. Yes, it is. Um, it's kind of a little bit more premium, right? It has very comfortable interior. Yes, it's, it's going to have the leather seats, the heated seats, uh, alloy wheels, premium sound system, versus the Trial Master, you're going to get the KO2 tires, the auxiliary battery, the clean air intake, and the, the, the front and rear diff lockers. Yes, uh, the way we see them here, these are pre-production trucks. Yes, they are. Right? Uh, and also, they're all on off-road tires. <laughs> and you can mix and match options. So even if you get a Field Master, you could still put the KO2 tires on it if you'd like to. Yeah. Um, and, or get other options if you, if you want to mix and match, if you want to start with just a base Field Master or base Trial Master. So let's talk about the basis of the vehicle. You know, what, what is it kind of based on? It's a solid frame. By the way, you can get the frame in multiple colors. You can. So it's a ladder frame, yeah. um, steel frame, yeah. dipped and coated mm -hmm. for, for protection. We have a 12-year anti-corrosion protection Sweet. on the frame. All of the bolt-on panels are going to be aluminum for lightweight. Okay. So your doors, your hood, bonnet, fenders, those are aluminum. I gotcha. And it's solid axles front and rear. Solid axle front and uh, rear. They're Carrera axles. Uh -huh. uh, the, they have the Eaton diff locks. You have a Tremec transfer case. Um, behind the ZF transmission and a BMW power, uh, powertrain. Yeah, straight six, uh, three liter. Yes. Uh, and then the suspension, tell me a little bit more about the suspension because it's kind of multi-link system front and back. Yep. And like we said, solid axles front and back. Solid axles, but it has um, <clears throat> Bilstein shocks and Eibach springs. Uh -huh. uh, again, just kind of going with all of the best of, of every product that we can that we can think of to put in this um, so that you, everything's customized for this vehicle, but high, 
quality product on, on every level. Yeah, so in my view, it's kind of a best of breed combination, right? Yes. So, I mean, you're using like, for example, like Brembo brakes, right? Brembo brakes, uh, Recaro seats. Yeah, Recaro seats. You said Eibach, you yep. said Bilstein, yep. right? So you're combining this, all of this into one vehicle, which is kind of your interpretation of the best off-road SUV in my mind. Is yes. that fair to say? Fair. Okay. Underneath the hood is a BMW straight six. Yes, uh, inline six cylinder with our own tuning. So turbocharged six cylinder, uh, tuned to 282 horsepower, but 332 foot pounds of torque. Okay. And the torque, I was reading the spec sheet. I mean, it comes on or early. Uh, so about what, 1700 RPM? Yes. Ish. So, so it's not, you didn't go for like maximum high horsepower, but so what, how did you tune this engine? You know, what, what were some of the considerations? Uh, basically with off-road being in mind, right? You want that high torque at, at low speeds and low gears. And that's what we kind of uh, designed it. Sweet. For. And, and the styling of the, the entire vehicle, I mean, the original vision, right? With, with Jim Radcliffe, right? <laughs> was kind of this Land Rover Defender spirit, right? Is that yes. fair to say? Uh, yes, that is fair, for sure. Um, now, it's not exactly a Land Rover, it's not a G-Wagon, it's its its own vehicle. Yeah. Um, well, I can see that. I mean, there's some cues, almost like you said, there's a little bit of G-Wagon in here, but a little bit of Land Rover Defender, but it's kind of its own face as well. Yes. So let's pay attention a little bit more to the trial master because uh -huh. you got winches you got what triple locked right so there's a center differential locker. center diff front and rear lockers you have the a red winch uh, 11 000 pound capability okay you have a front license plate that just kind of flips out of the way uh-huh so it reveals the winch right here yep there's a winch controller that's the manual release to pull it out yeah it is operated by a remote, a wireless remote, so you can be outside the car and operate it. It will also operate uh, with the vehicle off on the auxiliary battery. Gotcha. Um, so I can see already a snorkel. I can see the roof rack. Yeah, it's a it's a clean air intake. We don't call it a snorkel. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I, I know okay. yeah. it was a bad language. Uh, Toyota <laughs> calls it desert air intakes once yeah. in a while, right? But it's kind of a high place to um, ingest the, the air, right? Yes. So this is the air intake. Um, whether you get the field master or the trial master, this just comes with a, a little bit higher to keep the the heavy dust is going to be down at the lower end, so right. it doesn't so get sucked up into the engine. Get some clean air up here. Absolutely, really cool. And I, I really love um, Stephen. If you could show kind of all the way around. This is the roof rail. Yeah. It is structural. Yeah. Which is why the roof rack is attached to it. The the roof itself is capable of holding about 300 pounds of weight. If you don't have the roof rack, if you do have the roof rack, it'll hold 900 pounds static. Yeah. So you can put a tent up there. Absolutely. Or some, something Sleep like up this. there, your gear. Okay. Can we open up the back here? Absolutely. Show this. A little ladder. Sweet. Oh, there's some flags in here. But this is kind of a large space and you have track systems for kind of tying things down. Yeah, that's the L-Track system. And it's it's a pretty common design. So there's a lot of attachments that you can purchase and uh, use for that. They're, they're the exact same here inside as they are on the outside. So these just come off and, and you can actually attach. Attach the them anywhere. Yeah. Here. Is this, are these rails optional? So will the base vehicle have this? They come with, they're optional. They come standard on the trial master. Okay. I gotcha. So I, I like this. I mean, everything kind of looks kind of substantial, right? Yes. So even the door handles, this kind of reminds me of a G wagon in a way. <laughs> they're, they're very solid doors. Great sound to them. Yeah. Just listen to this again. So it's kind of like, kind of like a vault feeling, yeah. right? really solid here on the passenger side of the vehicle this is where the fuel door is you could just push this open this up and it is, does have a cap so it's not a capless system but this is what traditional SUV is it's on this 
passenger side of the vehicle. Well, let, let's talk a little bit about, I mean, this is the trial master. Let's talk about the interior a little bit more. Absolutely. Let's jump inside. Yeah. And this looks like an airplane to me. Can you yes. talk me through a little bit of this? So the design, the idea be, be, between the, behind the switches and the design of the interior is to be um, both rugged and also to be able to do everything. If you're off-road and you're out in snow and you have your big gloves on, you can still get in here and you can activate any switch that you want. No problem with your big yeah. switch, big hands yeah. or big gloves on. Yeah, I can see that. So what, what are some of these? So basically all of these are accessory add-ons. So okay. they're pre-wired switches. There's connectors throughout the car that you can just plug in your accessories, your LED light bar, whatever else you want, and just activate them and turn them on right there. All right, so that's all good. Mm -hmm. And you can see like amps, like 25 amps here, 10. Yep. So everything is labeled. Yep. Uh, now, what are we, where are we at here? This is basically all your off-road experience kind of buttons. So you have your off-road mode, your waiting mode, your diff locks, your hill descent, traction control, um, all the all the stuff that you're mostly going to use off-road, kind of up and out of your way, so you're not accidentally pushing any buttons. I love this. There's also labels for like how wide the vehicle is, how tall it is. Tell me about waiting mode. Um, it disconnects like an engine fan or something like this? So it turns off all of your cooling fans so that you're not throwing muddy water all up over inside I, your engine I gotcha. compartment. I got you. That's interesting. And then some interior lights. So uh -huh. this is sweet. Uh, here where your lockers are. We your front and your rear lockers. Differential lockers. All right, now let's look down here. Um, I recognize the shifter. Yes. It looks like a BMW shifter. Uh, it's a ZF uh, shifter to go with the ZF transmission. Yeah. Very common in BMWs as yeah. long as, as well as a lot of other manufacturers. Yeah, you can say it's ZF or ZF, right? Yep. Uh, and uh, actually many manufacturers use ZF transmissions. Yes, many. Even like Ram trucks. Oh yeah. Uh, pickup trucks and, and many other vehicles so we have kind of the main screen here in the front yep um, you're gonna it, it's a fairly simple screen um, with but it does have Apple CarPlay Android Auto na a Pathfinder navigation system um, I can see you know you can have your tire pressures your temperature gauge your fuel gauges obviously your range uh, here's I can see your uh, it's four-wheel drive all the time. Full-time four-wheel yeah. drive. This is your manual shifter for your transfer case. You have the option of high or low and locked or unlocked. Yeah, and these buttons are pre-production, right? Those are pre-production. Because a lot of these are test vehicles. These are all test vehicles, so those are just emergency kind of kill switches uh, just in case. Yeah. You, the production vehicle will have cup holders there. I gotcha. And, I mean, you've been testing this in the real world, you know, I was reading like over yeah. a million miles of actual testing. Yes. Uh, this particular vehicle has almost 600 miles and it's just all off-road trails at about 10 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. quite a lot of driving if you put it in that perspective. And there's ventilation here in the back? Yes, as well as USB ports in the back and USB ports in the center console. Sweet. Now Rick, also the floor panels are removable, right? Yes, they are. You just untwist this clip right here. Pull it up, comes right out. And this is for draining water if you got any water in here. So clip that, drain all the water out. There you have it, nice. So all of the all of the panels from all the passengers and driver That's do correct. that. That's correct. Cool. So I'm getting in here. I'm almost 6'3". Yes, I do fit. And this front seat is almost all the way back. Uh, I got knee space, I've got headroom. Uh, Steven, do you, see, do you see my headroom here? Yeah. Yeah, this is quite comfy. Um, I love kind of, you feel, I feel like I'm sitting a little bit higher in the vehicle and I can kind of see still all, out of all the windows. Let me see, I can put my arm on this, on this rest. Yeah, it, it's actually, you know, it has a lot of space because it's basically a box back here. You see those little hooks here and here? And they're on both sides. This is where you can put partitions. So if you have maybe a dog that you want to kind of um, put in the back of your vehicle, or maybe um, you're converting this into an overland vehicle and you may remove some of these seats and you want another partition, 
for whatever reason you can actually put bars and partitions in here uh, quite thoughtful touch rear vent vents right there USB-C ports everywhere um, easily to wipe down and wash floor panels right there some of them are removable and you can see the amount of space it's pretty tremendous all right let's go look at the other one all right now the field master so the biggest difference with the interior is the black leather seats the heated seats options and the safari windows which are going to become standard in the field masters yeah you can see those windows up up, up above and the safari windows pop up or with a quick clip come fully detachable and removable oh interesting so you can stand up even or kind of poke out absolutely and there's a nice carry leather uh, padded case for these in the back to put them in to protect them while you're driving i've got gotcha. you uh, are there also different like driving modes we talked about off-road mode and waiting mode are there other driving modes as well um, you have Just, a you have the manual mode, so you can put the transmission into a manual and in first second gear. It is a kind of a true in that aspect. If you put it in first gear manual mode, it's going to stay in first gear. It will not shift out of it for okay. you. Okay, so you kind of have that control. Mm -hmm. All right, let's show also back here. Is what is there st um, storage solutions underneath the seat? So if you don't get the auxiliary battery, on this side, there will be a waterproof storage container. And can I open this up here? Yeah, on that side, that is the, your main fuse box, your main battery, a um, few other electronics. Okay. I like it also, so there's child uh, anchors. Yep, for they the have the, ISO, the ISOFIX yeah. anchors. Yeah, everything just feels, even you know, for pre-production vehicle, everything just feels solid. Uh, just really kind of has that high quality feeling. Here's another view at the, I like the kind of a this, molly this panel. Is the, this is the optional uh, rear table. Uh -huh. It folds out for like a camping stove or yeah. something like that. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Or you could tie some bags into it, some, you know, hang something off of it. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's really co cool. And this one doesn't show, you know, the, the roof rack, um, just shows a different configuration basically. Yeah. So starting price is what for the base model? For the base field, well, the base. The base model, yeah. Base is about 72. The field master and the trial masters are about 79. 79,000, but yeah. there's also options. Yes, there's a lot of options. There's a lot of accessories that you can add on uh, that does change the, the configuration yeah, price. Yeah, the price. And like you said, the base model, you know, doesn't come with some of the, you know, maybe the off-road tires, maybe the air intake or the roof rack, and you can kind of add that all together. You, essentially, yeah, you kind of build it however you want. Um, whatever options you see fit if you don't want all of the options that the field master come with or all of the options that the trial master comes with uh, you can kind of pick and, choose, pick and huh? choose some from the trial some from the field or or, or. so you can add lockers for example to the Absolutely. base one and yep. um, <laughs> we already talked about this so there's three different frame colors so you can pick your frame color either black yeah. gray or they're, red they're powder coated in, uh -huh. in black gray or red yes uh there's an array of exterior colors right you also have a uh, multicolor, so you can have a roof yes so a you, different color so you can get a, a a contrast color roof like this one has a black roof you can also get a white roof depending on which options you're not you're not going to be able to get a white on a on a white car it's right, already right. going to come with that yeah right? And then when are these going on sale in the, in the United States? So sales orders open up uh, at the end of the, this month, uh -huh. beginning May. of June, uh -huh. and planned production and delivery to the customers by the end of the year. In 2023, in yeah. 2023. In, in, in the United States. Yes. And these are built where? They're built in Humbach, France. Right, that's, that's really cool. So built in France. I, I also heard that it used to be a Mercedes factory. Yes. That uh, was kind it of was sold. A, it was a smart slash EV facility okay. that we purchased. 
okay. uh, from Mercedes-Benz. They're still building, they're still using some of it for some of their model line, but it was, it was nice to be able to kind of take over a facility, invest our own money essentially into it to, to get it to where we wanted it, but kind of plug and play with yeah. the with the employees and everything like that. Yeah, so it's not you're not starting from the ground. Exactly. You already have an existing facility with, you know, logistics and everything else already involved there. So Exactly. That's that's really really cool. Well, thank you for showing it to me. Absolutely. Thanks I, for coming out. Appreciate it. Well, there you have it, guys. Starting price in the US will be about 72,000, 71,500. And of course, you can option it from there as you saw. I'm still learning a lot about this. For example, that you can close this side of the split rear tailgate um, because you want to climb this ladder and this this one can remain open you can also of course close both of them and the spare tire is hanging here by the way these are 32s okay. basically uh, no matter which option you get and then we have to talk about payload and towing so uh, when, when you see the cargo uh, space here, uh, the total payload capacity with people and cargo is about 1,900 pounds, which is a huge number. This is way more than the Wrangler or the Ford Bronco or even maybe the G-Wagon as well. And then this. Um, as many European design vehicles, and this was really designed in UK and built in France, and it's really... I mean, it's using German components. I mean, it's really a global vehicle. This is three and a half ton, metric ton towing. So it's about 7,700 pounds. This is a two inch receiver. You can also mount different attachment to it, you know, for European towing. There is going to be wiring and options for brake controllers. So that's considerable towing for a vehicle like this. So it really does compete against the Land Rover as far as towing capability uh, and less so with the Jeep Wrangler or the Ford Bronco. So there you have it, this deep dive. It's a brand new truck. Oh, by the way, speaking of trucks, a pickup truck version is gonna be available in Europe soon. And they're asking for your interest. If there is an Ineos Grenadier pickup truck, uh, will you want it? Please say yes. Please, please, please write in the comments. Please say yes. We do want the pickup truck version uh, because I do. I think it's going to be a fun option. Um, yes, it's higher priced, but still, it could be very off-road capable uh, and very just sturdily built, even even with the vehicles we saw today. Thanks for joining me. Check out OTFL.com for everything automotive in one place.